What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create the Marvel's Netflix version of Luke Cage using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here, and you'll see a bunch of character slots. I've already made a ton of new characters, but the next one we're going to be making is choosing Custom 6 here, and creating the Marvel's Netflix version of Luke Cage, of course, played by Mike Coulter in the Luke Cage TV show, and the Defenders. And he's also coming back to play Luke Cage in Season 2 of Luke Cage next year as well, which I'm really looking forward to. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we don't need any weapons but we are going to go into the appearance now there are a few heads you could choose from well originally that's what I thought with uh, this Luke Cage in mind because you know I thought this one was perfect I was like yes that is the one it's just the eyes the eyes you know he doesn't have those kind of eyes if he didn't have the eyes there that would be absolutely perfect and I would use it in a heartbeat but unfortunately no, it just doesn't work as well. And there are a few other heads like that with a beard, and I thought, oh, what about Nick Fury? Eye patch. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Okay, maybe maybe Falcon. Let me see. Falcon? Goggles. <laughs> it's just it just doesn't work. You know, it's really, really annoying. And there are, you know, not really that many faces with beards in this character creator. I mean, you got this one here for Tony Stark and the Old West, you know, that you could use for Wolverine and things, but it's just there's not many pieces with beards as this one as well but the one I settled on was I believe it's Baron Mordo if I can find it yeah it's this one right here because it doesn't give him like you know his beard from the show but at least it gives him a stubble so you know it's something so with that we are going to also have a helmet piece we're not going to have hair but we are going to have a helmet piece but I'm going to leave that to the end because that is more or less optional you know you guys don't have to do that but for me personally I thought it looked better with the helmet and you'll see which helmet we're going to be choosing in a bit now for the body I actually recently unlocked the character Hulkling and I thought his torso piece works really well as Luke's hoodie from the show basically I think it's a good you know replacement for the time being at least unless they add something better but I think it looks pretty good if I can find it, uh, it should be down here. There it is, Hulkling. Now, I think that looks pretty cool. If you could have the down hoodie piece, uh, you know, like the Spider-Man homemade suit and Spider-Gwen have and Scarlet Spider, that would probably make this piece look absolutely perfect, but sadly you can't have that. But I still think it looks good. And then for the arms, we're just going to go with black arms. Right at the top here. There we go. Now... For the legs, I believe what I did for the legs was I just, you know, I, j I think I just gave similar color to J Jessica Jones, I think. I mean, you could go with this, which is the one I gave Jessica Jones, but I think it's too bright. I think Luke wears something, you know, the jeans are a bit darker, so I would go with something like... I'd say something like that. I think that works quite nicely. Or you could go with gray, but I think, I think that looks pretty good. And then for the same, you just do hips... And you would go with uh, this one. So there you go. So we've done the legs, the hips, no capes. We've done the hands. We've done the body. We've done the arms. Is the arms the right color? Yep, I think they are. Uh, we don't need an attachment. I mean, there's this, I guess. But nah, it doesn't look as good. And like I said, that sadly, there is no hoodie piece. So the last thing we're going to do with the appearance is actually add a hood. So it's not a down hood piece, it's a hood up piece. And you do see him wear that in the show, I believe in the first season of Luke Cage. So I think it looks pretty good. I actually like that more with the hood piece. I don't know about you guys, but I just prefer it. I think it looks cooler. And that's pretty much it for the appearance. So we don't need any weapons. We're now going to move on to the abilities. So for the abilities, we're not going to give him grapple. I'm not sure if you give him wall climbing or not. I mean, maybe just to get around, but... No, I, I don't know. I don't think I would give him that. I wouldn't give him any of these. i give him crack Lego walls, deflect. Uh, we won't give him vine cut. I'm trying to be more accurate with these builds now, because I know you guys have said, you know, sometimes I just pick anything, and I'm trying not to do that, because I know you guys like it to be as authentic as possible. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, super strength. From what I understand, Luke Cage can't manipulate time, so we're not going to do that. Um, we don't need rune tracing or portal creating. I guess we don't need dig or tracking either. So the only ones you're going to have is super strength, 
crack Lego walls, deflect. Basically, just focus on strength. And then for square, when you tap square, you're gonna fight. For hold, so, uh, sorry, hold square, you're not really gonna have anything. You could have a targeted lunge if you want, but I'm just gonna leave that. For circle, tap circle, we won't have quick teleport. For hold circle, we're not going to have a beam either. You're basically just going to have punching. That's pretty much all you're going to have. And then for X, I don't believe Luke can super jump. I know he can super jump in the game, but this version of Luke, we haven't seen him like jump really high into the air like Jessica Jones. So I'm going to leave that. And then for double tap X, we will not have flight and we won't have double jump either. We'll just have, you know, the rolling jump because I think that kind of works best for this kind of character. You know, he, his main focus is strength. That is who you'll be, what you'll be using them for mainly. And lastly, of course, we're going to go to the passive traits. Now, for the health icon, we'll go with one of these. I guess we'll go with this yellow here. For the health type, he's not, like, completely invincible. We know that. But he's pretty much invincible. You know, he's not standard. He can take a hit. you got to think all the enemies that are in the game, they're only shooting guns and punching you and stuff like that. And Luke can easily take all of that kind of damage. So I would just make him invulnerable. Uh, then you're going to go to the voice. Just choose any voice. We'll just go with... Uh... I like to, you know, try to listen and see if one sounds maybe like the character or maybe not. I don't know. To be honest, none of them sound like Luke Cage, but whatever. At least it's a voice. Uh, then you want to go to Target Reticle. Okay, um, I think we'll just go with that one. Yeah, I use that one a lot, I know, but I just think that'll work quite nicely. Uh, we won't have any movement speed. Uh, we've done the Target Reticle, and that's it. Now, of course, we're going to name him. So we're going to go to Miscellaneous and name him Luke Cage. Got to put it in caps because the game registers everything in caps. So... Just looks better. Luke Cage. Boom. There you go. Very nice. And there you go. I know you guys don't like me using that background all the time, but, you know, Luke Cage, he's from Harlem, so it makes sense to put him in a city. And there you go. That is the Marvel's Netflix version of Luke Cage made in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Luke Cage into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is! This is, of course, our custom-made Marvel's Netflix version of Luke Cage in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, and I think he looks pretty cool. I'm happy with how this one turned out. I mean, you know, there aren't that many hoodies and jackets and things as you would like in the customizer, and I think this Hulkling piece kind of works really well. You know, it's, it's black and yellow. I think Luke's hoodie in the show is grey. I understand that, but this is black and yellow, and it's kind of as close as you can get, and I think it looks good. I think he looks pretty cool. Now, as for abilities, he doesn't really do that much in this game, unfortunately, you know. I mean, Luke Cage is cool in the main game, but I kind of tried to stick as close to the show's uh, version as, as best as I could. So he can punch, and that's pretty much it. And he, he's strong, you know, he can lift up cars and all that good stuff as well. So I'm not saying he's a bad character, because I love the character of Luke Cage. I'm just saying he doesn't, you know, shoot bolts or anything like that. It's just a very simple, strong character, which is awesome. See, if we do this, there you go, we can lift up the cars and chuck them, because that's awesome. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just look at the classic Luke Cage and try to, uh, whoa, and try to, you know, just basically copy that as best as you can and just give him the Netflix outfit so it's more of a costume. But I wanted to try and make the Mike Coulter version of Luke Cage. Oh yeah, I can see it. I'm gonna take them out. Wow, one hit and he's down? Man, Luke Cage is strong. Well, we all know that. Let's throw him into him. Yeah! Take that, mummies. Nice. Alright, is there any cool vehicles we can get? Because obviously we don't really have the best way of getting around at the moment. So let's see if there's any good vehicles we can drive. Hmm. What would be a good one? I always like this one. I love driving through the snow in this one. The vehicles are pretty slow, but hey, they're vehicles. I mean, I don't use them that much. I prefer to just fly or swing or jump, but at least they're there. At least we have vehicles. Sorry, my bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there should be some bad guys in medieval England if we go check them out. Should be up here somewhere. 
Excuse me, taxi. Ah! Whoa. If you're not too busy, I had another job. No, I am busy. I'm very busy. I'm actually recording a video if you can't see. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Hang on. Oh, that was a nice flip. You see that? That's pretty cool. Sky earlier. That uh anything we need to be worried about? Nah, you'll be fine. Okay. Let's go take care of these knights. There's Luke Cage. I'm really looking forward to uh, Luke Cage season two. I'm not going to talk about, you know, one or defenders, uh, de season one of Luke Cage or the defenders, because I don't want to spoil it for people. Um, but I am looking forward to Luke Cage season two. It should be interesting. Could be better than the first series, to be honest. It might, it might actually have the potential to be better. Again, I don't want to say why, but there's some. Say, cool stuff that's going to be in it, from busy, what I've heard. I had another job for you. All right, let's get out of uh, medieval England. I enjoyed the Defenders, but I just thought that it was not as good as I was hoping it to be, you know, like, I, I liked it for what it was, you know, I thought the team and everything was cool, and it was cool seeing all those characters together, but I just thought it could have been better, I just thought they could have thought of a better story, I know it's on a TV budget and everything, but you would have thought of how well all those shows did, you know, together, you would have thought they would have been able to make something even better, but, you know, if they ever get to do a Defenders Season 2, hopefully that would be better than Season 1, um, it wasn't bad. I'm not saying it was bad. I enjoyed it for what it was, and I'm glad I watched it. I don't regret watching it. I just thought it could have been better, basically. Um, my favorite uh, Netflix shows is definitely Daredevil and Jessica Jones, though. Um, I think they're fantastic. Daredevil season two, especially. I mean, oh man, such a good series. I'm really looking. I think uh, Luke Cage season, not Luke Cage, sorry. I think Jessica Jones season two is next year as well, which I'm looking forward to. I'm not sure when Daredevil season three is, but man, that needs to hurry up and get here already. <laughs> Such a good show. Pick up cars, throw them. That's always fun. Any more bad guys? I know you guys have been asking for more uh, Netflix versions of the characters in the game like Daredevil and Iron Fist and stuff and I am, you know, working on it. I'm trying to see what I can come up with. I think I might be able to do Daredevil. I don't know how good he'll look, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Thing is, I don't think he'll be able to use like his batons or anything because I don't think you have them in the character creator. Actually, no, they're definitely not there. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. You heard them. <laughs> um, you know, I don't think there's any, like, anything similar to the batons. I know there's a staff, but it's, I don't like the staff at all. Like, it just, oh no, I don't like that staff. It just, it doesn't function well. Like, when you attack with it, it just looks like you're poking enemies, and no, I, I just don't like it. I need to get into this fire so I can get out of here. Wow, it's not killing them, what the heck? Oh, there we go, now we're out, awesome. All right, hop up there, hop up there, and let's get moving. How fares your aim? So if I did do Daredevil, what I'd probably do is I'd give him like the swinging ability and just normal punching like Luke Cage, because that's kind of the best you could do. But I still think it would look cool. I'll have to look into that. And by, you know, what I mean by, uh, def uh sorry, Netflix uh, Daredevil. Oh, I can't speak today. <laughs> Netflix Daredevil. What I would do is I'd probably make the black suited version, but if I can figure out a way to make the cool red suit he has from the show, I'll definitely look into it because that would be a very cool build. So I will definitely look into that. Now we're in Xandar. Alright. Nice. Yeah, I'm happy with this build. I think it looks cool. You know, it's quite a simple one. But, you know, just because it's simple doesn't mean it's not cool. You guys wanted more Netflix versions, so here you go. Yeah, we got Jessica Jones done, and this is Luke Cage, and like I said, I'll see if I can do Daredevil. Iron Fist is the one that's kind of the trickiest at the moment. I've been trying to work out how to do Danny and 
it's difficult, man. It really is because there's no like iron fist ability in the customizer. You can't actually use that, and yeah, it's it's so the, basically the way I thought about doing it was maybe giving Danny one like yellow hand, <laughs> just one yellow hand, and that's it. And then that could work as the iron fist, pretty much. That's kind of the best I could come up with. And then I would give him like some jacket or something i actually thought of a cool way to make his outfit what you could do is you could make like you couldn't make the jacket he wore in the defenders or anything i don't think but i bet you could make the outfit he wore in the first season of iron fist when i don't want to spoil what happens because i know you guys you know some of you might not have seen iron fist but there's basically a moment where he like rips off a part of his shirt on like the left hand side or right hand, right hand side of his arm or something and then like that's you know open so you can see his, his skin maybe I could do that that outfit I could prob probably do and it probably look quite cool with one arm you know you could see and then the rest is the, the actual clothes if you know what I mean I think that would be kind of cool I'll definitely have to look into that I mean he wouldn't be that powerful of a character though that's the thing because all he'd be able to do is like Luke Cage he'd just be able to punch only difference is he'd have a yellow hand but hopefully I can find a good hand that's uh, gold enough you know man I just realized how long it takes to get around this map when you don't have um, any superpowers like we're only in Xandar and usually we'd probably be back around to Noir, New York by now, which we are gonna go to now. I think we'll go. We'll go see if we can check that out. I think I'm gonna take this guy's car. No, I want a car. Okay, wait, hang on. Here we go. This car. I think this one's pretty fast as well, so we'll use this one. Really? Thank you. But yeah, if you guys want Netflix uh, versions of Daredevil and Iron Fist, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely see what I can do. Because these these are really cool builds. I'm happy with both Jessica and Luke Cage. So happy to make more. The amount of requests I've seen, not just from you know these kind of characters, but just from everything is absolutely insane. I really appreciate the support guys. I'm so glad you're enjoying this series and it's so cool to see you guys wanting just more and more videos of custom characters. I mean, that's awesome. I'm really glad to see that the community's really accepted the character creator and just loves it as much as I do because it's so good. I honestly come up with cool new things every day that I didn't even think about. So, I love showing them. Hey, wouldn't it be great if this was the last crime ever? I also recently unlocked uh, Luke Cage uh, Noir, which he can play as as well, and he looks pretty cool. It's kind of, I think he's just got the same abilities as the 70s Luke Cage, it's just like his outfit's different. But he does look cool, he's like got a shirt and like, the, he's, well he's just basically wearing like a shirt and tie I think, but the tie's like all messed up and stuff. He just looks awesome. <laughs> You could kind of use that for, I mean, that kind of works as the Netflix version, I guess, but I'm happy with the one we made today. It's just a shame we can't have the cool fighting style and things like that. Maybe with future character creators, what we might see. Finally, she didn't say you're a real doll. Maybe with future character creators, this might be hard, but I think it would be cool if they could figure out a way where you select a character in the grid... You can take all of their abilities, you, you basically take every single thing from them, and then you just change the design if you want to. Or even just a tiny bit, like you change the head or you change the hair. You change every bit of it if you want to. I think that would be really cool, because then it would allow people to make, basically, new costumes for pre-existing characters. That would be pretty sweet. Again, that might be quite difficult. I don't know how difficult that would be to add to the game. But if they could figure it out... That would probably be a really cool feature. It would allow you to make new costumes for all the heroes and villains that are already in the game. But I mean, they've been teasing that we might see more pieces added to the character creator um, through DLC. And if they do manage to do that, I'll be beyond happy. Uh, yeah, get down. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be beyond happy because... You know, I'm having a lot of fun with the character creator, but the possibilities with the other pieces that we haven't got yet, man, it would just make making things so much easier. There's a lot of pieces they could add. And I'm not saying they need to add, like, 
you know, the new head pieces and you can change the colors of them. I'm not bothered about that. I'm more bothered about the torso pieces and things like that. I think, you know, all the torso pieces at least should be added because they're great. All right, man, it takes a while to get around Coronopolis when all you can do is run and jump like that. Yeah. Run, Luke, run! Oh, there's some more bad guys over here. Nice. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, even though this game doesn't have the Marvel's Netflix content, you can tell they were definitely inspired by it when they made the game because you've got Daredevil and Luke Cage, but you've also got Misty Knight and Colleen Wing. Uh, sorry, not Daredevil. You, yeah, you've got Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Misty Knight, and Colleen Wing. And you've also got Davos as well. And I think that's it. I can't think of anyone else from the shows that's in the game. Oh, yeah, Kingpin. Yeah, Kingpin's in it. And a version of Electra. You've got Electra Noir, who is also a... Well, Electra Noir is basically a combination between Electra and Bullseye. And she's from the Noir universe. We've also got Bullseye Noir as well. Uh, no, Old West Bullseye, sorry. He's pretty cool. idea for a picture. Do you? Anyway, guys, I think we'll head on over to Avengers Mansion and then we'll call it a day. But this has been a fun one. You know, he's, he's a very simplistic character to make in this game. He's a really easy one to make. But you guys wanted him, so I made him. And I think he turned out pretty cool. I definitely think that uh, Hulkling piece is the best you can probably do. And I think it looks good. But if you guys come up with a better way of doing it, definitely let me know. I think it'd be great if they could add that head we really wanted, you know, with the beard. That would be perfect. If we could have that, it'd probably look pretty accurate. But even then, the stubble works quite nicely, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Kunlun had a city on the mountain. Shame Kang didn't bring that into Chronopolis. Guess he must have had a budget to stick to.